almost live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to this Tuesday episode of Cafe Devo. It's June 4th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here as I always do with my pal Bugsy. He's over there in his usual spot here in the pastor study at First Congregational Church. I sure hope your Tuesday is going well. Once again today, we turn to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord. Can we talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. The Divine Invitation. Isn't it strange how we tend toward extremes? What begins as self-improvement becomes self-enslavement. What started as merely a mellow change of pace leads to borderline fanaticism. (laughs) We're nuts. Left to ourselves, we will opt for extremes virtually every time, which explains why God's book so often stresses moderation, self-control, softening our sharp-cornered lives with more curves that necessitate a slower pace. Jesus himself found it necessary to escape the press of people around him to get his bearings. On several occasions, he rose early in the morning just to be alone. Immediately after his twelve returned hot and sweaty from ministry, it was his idea that they retreat and repair. And who can ever forget his gracious invitation? I often return to it just to let the words wash over me. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and let me teach you because I am humble and gentle of heart. You will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and any burden I give you will be light. In a high-tech day of high-level pressures, Jesus offers rest. Amid the rancor of politics, he's gentle. While competition is rugged and being in partnership with hard-charging bullish leaders is tough, being yoked with him is easy. He said that. It's easy. And instead of increasing our anxiety overload, he promised to make it lighter. Is it any wonder Jesus' style and message created such a stir? While the religious establishment piled on more guilt and shame with their rigid rigid lists of do's and don'ts, Jesus quietly offered grace. He still does, you know. It is quite possible you and your family are weighed down by life, pushing against the impossible odds of financial bondage or shuffling through the debris after a destructive conflict. Maybe you're battling loneliness, grieving the death of one that you love, or dealing with the unknown. No matter the burden, the answer to your need is a person. His name is Jesus. He invites you to come to him and lay your burdens at the foot of his cross. Why not do that now? Father, we come to you once again and we lift you up in the name of Christ. You are good and mighty and awesome. And oh, how desperately we need you. Whether we acknowledge it or not, Father, we need you. Bless us today, Lord, with peace. The peace that you offered. Bless us with rest, that spiritual, refreshing rest that is found in you. Help us, Lord, to remain calm, to remain focused on you, to lift you up, and to share the joy that comes in knowing you. Bless us, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hey, that'll do it for us on this Tuesday episode of Cafe Devo. I hope it's a good one for you. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. I'll see you tomorrow.